Hi Econ students, here's a couple of things on how the demand and supply headlines activity here is going to work. Uh, the goal here is for you to grab the matching headline and analyze what's going to happen with the demand curve and then explain the result. Like how did that happen? So let me give you an idea of how this would work. Uh, you match up the headlines which are going to be located on page three for the demand headlines. Let's go over the first one together. The average wages decline for workers around the country. Uh, how will this information likely, likely affect the demand curve for movie tickets? Okay, so if there's less workers around the country, you would put that headline in here, less workers around the country affecting income what's going to happen, actually that's uh, headline A right here, uh, what's going to happen to the demand for movie tickets and because income is going to decrease then the explanation should be that uh, as a result of a decrease in demand the demand will shift to the left and so Based on that, here's what it would look like on the answer key, and I'll focus just on that one. So as a result, you can see what happens. You put average wages decline for workers around the country. Uh, the demand curve shifts to the left or decreases. Decrease to the left, increase to the right. So we're going to say this is decreasing to the left. The demand shifter is a change in income, and that's it. You move on to the next headline, and you complete your demand items. Let's check out one example with supply. Pretty straightforward, same kind of thing here. You're going to match up your headline with the headlines listed on the next pages, and then you're going to provide an explanation for each one. So let's do the first one together. Frozen peach pies. So I'm going to go down here to the headline for supply and match it up with letter I, which is that item. Record peach harvest, the lowest price uh, in a decade. There we go. Let's move me down this way. And then how will this information likely affect the supply curve for frozen peach pies? So it's a record peach harvest, which means there's a lot of peaches. And the price is lowest in a decade. So how are we going to figure that out? Let's think about it. If the price of peaches is extremely low, then what can we do with the amount of peach pies that we're going to supply to the market if we were if we were uh, baking peach pies. So you put that here, record harvest of, of uh, peaches, and then an explanation should be something like the supply curve will increase to the right because there is a, a low cost for peaches to make peach pies. So the factor that determines that is known as input prices or the costs of production or ingredients to produce the good. So let's see what they say on the answer key. So just as I have indicated, you put your uh, record peach pie harvest is the headline, which is the lowest price in a decade. And then uh, your explanation is listed here. The supply curve shifts to the right or increases. And then what's the supply shifter or factor that changes that? It's called change in cost of inputs. And that's where you have it. So uh, use your uh, review notes and consult your list of uh, factors that shift the supply curve and the demand curve. And that will help you solve these simple questions. Good luck.